Hello brothers and sisters, I welcome you to SS View. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 3 qualities that are essential to become a good IAS officer. If you're someone who aspires to become an IAS officer, you should know that it requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and a set of skills that can help you perform your duties efficiently. We have done so much of research from different books to different IAS officers' life story. At the end we find the major three common qualities that they follow in their life are 1. Strong leadership skills. A good IAS officer should possess excellent leadership qualities. They should be able to inspire and motivate their team to work towards achieving a common goal. They should also be able to delegate tasks effectively and manage their team efficiently. As an IAS officer, you'll be responsible for managing people, resources, and policies. Therefore, having strong leadership skills is crucial to achieving success. 2. Strong integrity. Integrity is the foundation of a successful IAS officer. It means being honest, transparent, and having a strong sense of ethics. An IAS officer's actions should always be in the best interest of the public and the country, even if it means making difficult decisions or going against powerful interests. You need to be honest, trustworthy, and have a strong sense of responsibility towards the citizens and the country. 3. Compatibility with problem-solving mind. IAS officers have to deal with complex problems and situations regularly. They should be able to analyze situations critically, identify the root cause of the problem, and come up with innovative solutions. As an IAS officer, you'll face many challenges, and you need to have a problem-solving mind to come up with effective solutions. You need to be able to approach problems with a clear and analytical mind, identify the key issues, and devise a plan of action that will lead to a successful outcome. Apart from these three qualities, there are other important qualities that can help an IAS officer succeed. These include effective communication skills, good decision-making skills, a commitment to lifelong learning, and a deep understanding of the country's social, economic, and political landscape. So, that's it for this video. We hope you found this information helpful. Remember, if you want to become an IAS officer, it takes hard work, dedication, and a set of skills that can help you perform your duties efficiently. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.